Yeah, happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday. You know, I, I used to wonder about that. Happy Sunday, happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But I want to wish everybody a good, happy Sunday, though. This is a good day, right? Day that most people set off to the side. Well, I'm just going to be talking. Yeah. I, I, I wait to come on. I feel like an old man rocking in a chair. <laughs> yeah, rocking back and forth. That's, that's what old age will do for you. It'll rock you, buddy. Man, I've seen so many. I've been around town, around the city, <coughs> mingling, talking to people. Sharing they uh, ups and downs with them. There's a lot of sour, sour out here in the streets now. A lot of sorrows coming out of the household, marriages, uh, relationships, jobs, ups and downs of life. You know, and you got a lot of people questioning. And so there's so much stuff going on, people is like, hey, yeah, what's up to y'all? Yeah, here we go, man. I'm ready, man. I'm ready, man. I got some good stuff to talk about today. I'm kind of fired up, too. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, I was uh, at the store the other day. His lady come in, older lady. She said, uh, hey, she said, I know who you are. I watch all your videos, every one of them, you know. And you know what she told me? She said, keep it real, man. That's what I'm going to do, you know. And just like in the last video, I told y'all about all that stuff going on in Hollywood. I, I talked about that before it even happened. Y'all bear me witness. From TDJ to T. Aslan to Jay Z to uh, P. D. All of them. I already talked about them before all this stuff came to surface. But you know what it makes me think of? Just think of this. I don't to a lot of parties in my life. You know, uh, well, there ain't been no real grand thing, but I went to some good parties. That stuff he ain't going on up there, it's like VIP stuff, man. I mean, this man here at his party, if you come in at that party of his, anything you want, man, whatever your desires, whatever pleasures, whatever, and that's how he ran it, but he got taken out of proportion. You know, he's rotten, though. Don't get me wrong. He's rotten. He trying to blackmail people. And uh, he was throwing uh, parties for blackmail. Imagine that. Uh, going in somebody's house and they got everything in the house uh, recorded. Hidden camels. You go use the bathroom, they got hidden camels everywhere. Watch you pull your pants down and your your, your And yeah, he had all of that. So later on, when he wants to blackmail them, you know, he was trying to run the whole Hollywood. He wanted everything. Got too greedy, man. Got a little messy. Got caught up in his own stuff. In my opinion, I never liked him, man. I never liked that dude, man. I never liked Jay-Z. Uh, a couple of them up there, but what hurt me most of all is when I heard all this stuff about Mary J., being with this creep, come on, man. That was my girl, boy. That, 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 that tugs me in my heart, man. But I mean, she's hearing like everything else, though, you know. So now, here's what I'm gonna talk about. 
First of all, my book is like a month away. Oh, it's going to be delicious. A lot of people going to like it. And I guess there's going to be some people whose names I put in that book ain't going to like it. You know, I'm sorry about your luck, but I'm going to tell the truth, right? 2024 represent now the truth. Not be afraid to tell the truth. And I think it's a serve, man, that the devil... The people that follow the devil, that do all this devilish stuff, they got the uh, audacity when they do evil to dare anybody to say anything about it. You better not say nothing. Man, you made that up. Yeah, you did. You 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 made that up. You gonna do me evil and tell everybody around me, even me. Better not say nothing. Let me tell you something. That old witchcraft be witch. Uh, at one word, done kill millions. At one word, uh, three letter word, wreck, snitch. Uh, got a lot of people. Oh, I'll never be that. I never, they don't care if they witness somebody killing a baby. And, and they know they can come forward. They'll sit back and say, mm -mm, I ain't going to be no wreck. You can't be bewitched. This is 2024. People believed in that stuff back in the 1800s. We, we got a new democracy. We got a new environment. We got a new generation. You know, and these people doing all this evil out here. Do it, do it, do it in, uh, uh, in front of you. And then gonna, gonna, gonna sit back and, and they'll tell you about it. Oh man, I just killed her. I threw her body in the river. Yeah, I, I stabbed the hell out of her. And, and spare you not say nothing. And, 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 and conduct uh, regular uh, association like y'all been doing. Man, go on, man. You got a question from Brian Cranford. Okay. He says your book on Amazon. Not yet. It will be next month. The, yeah. the middle to end of next month. And who will win between you and the tall salad man? Man, let me tell you. <laughs> is that a real is that a real man? Is that a real person? <laughs> that he made up. Hey, I tell you, thank you for your donation. Uh <laughs> you made me laugh right there. Hey, hey, you made me laugh for real. It Hold on, let, let's see. Can somebody verify is, it, is that an actual person? No, nah, tall salad. No, nah, that's what tall salad means. No, I know what it means. No, nah, you I'm, don't. I'm, 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 hold on, let me let let this let somebody. I got I got to know this. I ain't never heard of this. We might have to look at it. <laughs> it's crazy, man. That's they said, what they say, yes, it is, it's really somebody. Yeah, it is. It can be anybody. Anybody that talks out. No, what I'm saying is somebody, no, somebody's on the internet, man. Oh, um, okay. They said the video went viral. Well, him talking silence. Of whoever, whoever it is. Uh, man, it must be good. Jesus Christ. Now, I tell you, man, it's what the world is, what it is, man. I never heard of that. Uh, who else? I had a question. Uh, modern day Pharaoh donated. Yeah, thank you. Uh, he said, "Use the donation to get something to eat before you film, so you don't have to eat <laughs> eat, eat during kidding. Stay positive, Big Fleece and Lee. No, you, Big you, Lee. Thanks, man. No, yeah, thank you. You know when you uh you snuck on peanut butter crackers in last time? Yeah, I was hungry. <laughs> no, your donation was needed. Uh, I just got through eating meatloaf." Uh, uh, potatoes and gravy, mac and cheese, and uh, cornbread. Yeah, I just got through eating it. Uh, I was hungry for real. Got another donation from Square Work Media's World number 322. Thank you for your donation. He said, Did the book drop? Not yet, should be uh, about the middle to the end of next month. We're just waiting for the final 
uh, to confirm, to approve the final copy. Yeah, and, and what gets me about the book that people ain't really even thought about, remember, when I went to prison, I was borderline uh, illiterate. I couldn't read, couldn't even write my name, man. Taught myself how to read and write. That's what's so special about this book. I taught me. I didn't even attend school. Ain't no school in this uh, world can say they taught me. I taught me. God taught me. And he also say uh, he also said, if so, okay, where is it at? And please tell me you have exclusive signed copy option. Shout out to Hustlers and shout out to Fleece. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, all I've been. Uh, all our business is legit, dude. Wait, uh, no, he just, he just I know what he said. He's been concerned. Yeah, uh, yeah, thank you, though. Yes, it definitely like uh sand copy option for sure. Uh we may have to separate, but it will get done. Uh you got a donation from cash color, they just donated. Yeah, thank you. Well, I tell you what, somebody got some good questions. I'm in the mood. Just donate an answer away. Just ask me something. But I'm going to tell you something, though. I so, uh, asked a question the other day. Uh, people ask me all the time, how you enjoy it out here, as opposed to all the time you did in penitentiary. So Stanley. I, Stanley. I, I, hey. I don't even have words to express the joy in me, the feeling that I made it through all that that I went through. I made it, man. I made it through all that. 40 years, man. Can you imagine that? 40 years of crazy stuff. And not only did I make it, but I came out a better person than the person I was when I went in. See, I brought that out. See, and I did that. Me getting my education was really like a, I wanted to smack their face when they left me in the hole in a solitary confinement for 12 flat years. And then they let me out. Everybody said, boy, I bet he's brain dead. I said, you know what? They left me in there for 12 years in solitary confinement to destroy me mentally, spiritually, physically. I came out of all that. I said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a, 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 a gym. I went down to the library. They had some pre-GD books on the shelf. I took them in my room, started them, started them, started them, and passed the test, man. I wanted to stay face to show them. Yeah, my man is working. You know, y'all thought that was going to hurt me 40 years, then 12 years in a solitary confinement under torture and extreme emotional distress stuff. And I came out of it. And then, not only that, but when I hit the streets, they had to set all me out here for me to fail out here. Printed a whole bunch of crazy stuff on the internet. He raped 199 people. Watch out. I mean, nine people great. Uh, well, uh, took, let's just say, took 199 booties and uh, uh, all this stuff. And hey, me, man, well, I couldn't get a job or nothing. I was working. People would say, hey, you, you, we got to fire you. And I was walking away with my head down. But you know what? I knew I got skills, right? So I start doing jobs under the table. What kind of job? Houses. I'm doing patios. I was doing a lot of stuff under the table, but I was I was getting underpaid for it. So I had to cut it off. But anyway. Yeah, Spetty 007 donated. He said, Did you ever repent for all the butt you got? Yeah, I did. Repent. From all the butt I got and all the butt I gave. 
I'll write that one. See? Let me tell you something. I'm going to keep it real 100% because right now, I'm not worrying about people's opinion or what people think about me or think of me. What I'm worrying about is making sure I get myself all the way to Gerber because if you got eyes, you can look at me. Jesus, he's coming. He's coming, buddy. Yes, he is. <clears throat> I know. I know it. Yeah. Who has donated? Got one coming from Cash Color. Said, did you see the the TS Fort on YouTube live yesterday? No. I, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what, but I will check it out today, though. Uh, Got one What from, is a fort? What's a fort? Fort. What's that? Like poop. Like you fort it? I guess that's what he's talking about. Yeah, I seen a whole lot of stuff on YouTube about farting. I don't look. I don't look at it. I don't even want to hear it. You know, I had a girl in the bed with me one time, and I thought it was disgusting because my mom and them, I never heard none of them fart. My sisters, none of them. They respectful. This girl had her lay right, her booty right on my leg. And I felt some uh, 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 hot air on my, I already know what it was. And you know what I did? I pushed out of the bed. So did. I ain't with that. Got one from Square Work Media's world, number 322. He said, can I ask Fleece to shout out, shout out Square Work Media's world, number 322. I made him quit. He made him quit. He wants you to shout him out. I shout you out. Shout out Square Work. Square Work. Work. Media's World. Media's World. Number 322. 322. I made him quit. I made him quit. Like. Thanks for bringing quit. the police story to YouTube so people get facts. We appreciate you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Made him quit. Out of here. Got a donation from the Noble Inspiration. Like he just donated. Out of her. 322. What's, what was their name again? Uh, Square Works Media as yeah. well. Square Work Media as well. 322. You out of her. Made you quit. Made them quit. Show sure did. Like, shoot. Later. The Noble Inspiration donated. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, appreciate it. But what I would tell you, man, it's 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 some things going on in this world now. My eyes is open. I done seen enough already to know what's going on. You know, apparently people out here haven't seen what I have seen. So right now, it ain't nothing out there but distraction. Everybody gets high, everybody get drink, get drunk, get high, pop pills. A lot of distraction now, and they can't see what's right in front of them. Whew. You got a message for people and their kids? Yeah, it's not for people and kids. You know, I see the different generation, how generations change, right? Like the way a parent treat a kid when I was growing up, them kids when they grow up. Gonna treat their kids different from them. You know, they everybody got, but well, here's the thing. Parents, I done seen, man, seen the, they call it uh, tough love. I call it stupidity. Uh, you don't have to be mean to your kids, man. You don't have to cuss them, bad mouth them. Uh, bring your come here, you bastard! You know all that. I uh, talk bad to them, put them down to make them do right, man. You can talk to them and make them do right. Kids will reject you when you come at them like that. I don't care your parents or whoever. They gonna reject you. Things you say gonna go on one ear after other because you don't you don't do nothing but talk bad to them. Cuss them, put them down, 
swing on them, and then you expect them to do right? Who can do right being treated on them condition? I couldn't. They tried that on me in the penitentiary, and I tore that whole place up. My parents tried something like that with me, too. Get them straight. So kids don't respond to that. And see, here's the, here's the worst thing about it. You don't pray on your kids. A lot of you parents, don't, all you do is talk bad, bad to them. You don't pray on them or nothing. And then when they get locked up, I they get shot. How about that? Your son just got shot of your daughter. Now you concerned. Now you want to pray. Oh, I pray, Lord, give him the strength to me. Why ain't you pray to stop it? Why wait for a tragedy to start praying? Pray to stop a tragedy. Y'all need to treat your kids. Now, you know what? You don't have an understanding of what's going to happen to your child when they go to prison. You know, you think, oh, my boy, my son can fight. My son, I seen him, boy, he used to whoop kids all through his life. How is he going to whoop five people? That's how they roll in prison now. When they run up on you now, they're, not, it's, 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 they're young, they just like wild African dogs. They'll come up in your cell and lock themselves in your room with you, five of them. And pull all of them pulling out stuff. And they're gonna tell you. I want your canteen. I'm gonna let you keep ten dollars of it. We're gonna take the rest. And my, my my dog here is gonna take that TV. Now, if you try to stop us, we're gonna beat you unconscious and take everything. You know what they usually do? They try. Them. Man, get out of my cell. And they start swinging. All of them swing at the same time. Pretty soon they came on the ground. And they will beat him and beat him. And you know what? Them, that, that stuff don't even make the news. Y'all don't get prison news. The streets don't get prison news. They keep all that stuff in the prison system. They had over 15 people on life support system before I got out. They don't beat them this. And when they beat them, and you know, that's what's going to happen to your kid. Either that, or your kid going to go in there and turn gay. Probably been gay all his life. You just didn't know. Took prison to bring it out of them. All this tough guy stuff out here in the streets, that stuff is over when they step in there. They know what to do now. They go on in them young ones. They try to find a click. I'm the only one that stood alone. I walked alone, fought alone. But people in there now, they running clicks now. It ain't no one person come to you. It's five. Just pull up, make a circle around you. Pull this stuff out and tell you what they want. Hey, look, my, 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 my dude here is uh, seen, you know, he saw you in the shower. He liked the way you built, and he want that. So we're going to let you let y'all talk, and then you go off. I ain't gay. I ain't going to give you nothing. When they get done with you, you're going to wish you had a, gave him that, maybe good to him. And, and, and beg him to come back for some more. That's how big they're going to beat you. So I'm telling you what. Shame on you parents. They think it ain't nothing for your child to get locked up. You don't know what they got to go through. When they step behind that bar, when they, when, when they tell them, into your pockets, take your watch off, take everything off, take off your head and all this. Squat, spread your booty. I'm talking about spread it open and hold it. Hold it. Some of them will be sarcastic. They say, uh-uh, spread it again. Lift it up. 
And girls talk nasty. They say lift it up. I want to see it wink at me. Make it wink at me. And then if you drop your hand, say, look, man, I ain't with that. They're going to beat you unconscious. That's what your son got to go through. He got to go through that. Your son got to go through. If you think we ate clean food the whole time we've been locked up, you got life messed up. We, Eddieville had their own farm center where they had their own cows, their own chickens. All the food was in it. And you know what? They had people out there, inmates, having sex with the animals. And get caught. All that's documented. They had to close that place down. Then you got inmates working in the kitchen with there's somebody working in the kitchen and he killed 19 people. There's somebody else killed his whole family. There's somebody else killed his kids and all that. They don't want putting your food together. You don't know at what time can't nobody watch them. You don't know at what time they're digging in, no plunk something in the food, anything, spit in it. They nasty in prison. It's not a clean environment. It's not a recommended to go to environment. If you got kids, you want your kids to be safe, uh, to be in an environment where they can learn. You know, you got mama saying this. Well, at least I know where he's at. I don't have to worry about nobody killing them out here in the street. That's a lie. What you got to worry about is worrisome. I would rather see him die in the streets. I would then go through what he'll have to go through in that place and what it'll turn him out to be. See, what he come out as is what you need to worry about. If he makes it out, or what he's going to be when he comes out. See, you probably ain't thinking about that one. I left the prison system. You know what? I was in a prison. They had 2,500 inmates. And only about 50 of them got visits out of 2,500. Yeah. The ballers that was out here balling, they in penitentiary bombing. Big amen. Can I get a couple of noodles? But out here in the street, they had 10, 15,000 in their pocket at all time. See, things change when you go around. We, when people stop associating with you, when don't nobody want to write you, check up on you, then you a little bread every now and then, and you got to wondering how your child going to come out. How you think he's going to come out? Then you going to come out happy. That the whole time he had all his friends turned their back on him, his family turned their back on him, Ain't nobody want to do nothing for him. You, you think he's going to actually come out happy? <laughs> wow. I can hear y'all now. I'm, he can go back. Good. Well, that shows you didn't love him anyway. You know, we got people like me that come out of prison. And when people best friend. My best friend, well, I got one now, but my best friend before friend now was nobody except somebody in the penitentiary. I'm a good friend out of here, and, he's, and, and this stuff out of here with all this cut dope, backstabbing, snitch armor making. I know people out here try to steal other people's wives and stuff. And their way to uh, their best friend go in the other room, then uh, put a little thing in his wife ear. Said, said, you know me and him's best friends. And uh, I wish I could tell you something, but I, you know, it, you know, I'm real concerned about you. And then sooner or later, she going to tell you, can tell me. Said I got on him the other day. Uh, it was uh, this girl named Francine. He was trying to holler at. I said, "Look, man, don't do doors that way." I said he didn't do nothing, but you know, just make me wonder. And 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 she'll be like, "Thank you." 
and and what he be saying not even true. You know, and then when they break up, he got the man's he got his best friend's woman. I mean, you got people out here that would uh steal with you, go out and commit a crime with you, a murder. How can they prevent the kids from going to jail? What, from jail the only prison? way you're going to prevent this, in my opinion, it all depends on how they're raised, man. How their parents, these parents don't even want to talk to their kids no more. They say, I love my kid. Man, you don't love your kid, man. Come on with all that. Just because you feed, I can feed your kid. The school feed your kid. Uh, events day, anybody can feed your kid. Do you talk to them without cussing them? Can you sit down uh, and work out your child's problem without whooping him and, and trying to kill him or, or talk about him? Can, can you actually work a problem out? See, you, we got parents now having kids, but don't they think all that it comes to raising the kid is being able to change the diaper and feeding them. It's more to raising a child than diapers and food. Well, what you gonna put up there in their mind, right? What kind of example you gonna set for your kids to follow? Could your parents have prevented you from going to prison? Yeah, they could have. What could what could they have done to prevent you from Just going? Just talk. Simply talk to me. Don't put your hands on me, man. Talk to me. Is it what made you rebel? Yeah, I rebelled through all them whippings. Why I keep on getting beat? You know, I mean, hell. I didn't feel love. What is this donation? Five dollars from. Uh, hold on, hold on. We got a. Uh, before that, the noble inspiration said, Fleece, we watch you from India, even though MSNBC misrepresented you and did you so wrong, God used you to keep young people out of prison. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That is what I know I can do. Not only that, I done had people tell me I have already done it, made a difference in their life. You know, I'm just telling you the truth because use common sense. Everybody in prison all over the world, no matter where they at, they all got one thing in common. They all had a plan. They'll tell you, oh man, I had a plan. The most brilliant minded criminals in the world that is locked up had a plan. Look where they at. So, that one, so much for your plan. Got one from J. Hay 98 donated. Said, tell me more about Reverend Goodhead and what happened to him. You know, I don't know. In case the readers that is picking up on it, Reverend Goodhead is a person I met in prison. He was gay. They called him Reverend Goodhead because he got good head. He gave good head. They say he can take you to the balls and lick your butt while he's giving you head. So they call him, he wore glasses and he walked down with the Bible and you'll see him and he'll walk across the loop. Uh, he'll come out of showers where people be in the shower, naked men's in the shower. He said, oh, hey man, how you brothers doing today? <coughs> Nobody say nothing because we already know what he's on, right? Go on, some, sometimes somebody say, man, go on, or go on somewhere, man. Ain't nobody got nothing for you. He said, all right. He'll walk the loop. He'll walk up on somebody with the Bible. And he'll talk to them. Then they'll walk away. We already know where they go. Because he'll pay money. He'll, he'll pay money for that thing. And uh, he'll take them somewhere, pull their pants down. <laughs> And be on them hard, man. I'm talking about shock them. Uh, and uh, he won't choke or nothing. They say he don't choke or call for nothing, no matter how big you are. And when he get done, he'll, he'll squeeze that little booty to make more come out. 
pulled it out of his mouth, wiped his mouth. He, he curls a napkin, pop his napkin, wipe his mouth. Let me tell you about Jesus. Come on, sit down. Let me tell you something. So here's what y'all missing. Now y'all think y'all smart, but y'all mean. Then he'll, he'll see somebody and say, wait a minute. Go give him some head. So, and, and, and they just threw it out to him. They said, man, man, they would just spread their legs. Man, here come Reverend Gouda here, man. Come get this. And uh, he'll walk over and say, oh, y'all y'all being foolish now. You know what day it is, Sunday? And they said, yeah, today is Sunday. What they got to do with it? He said, well, not nothing. And next thing you know, he got them in his mouth. <laughs> and then they eyes and stuff be rolled back in their heads. And uh, when they, I seen people even mess with when they come out, they be like wobbling, like, you know, like, like he done messed them up, man. Like, like, he just, like he drained them. They call him Reverend Goodhead. So I've seen all this in prison too. So was he still in there when you got out? No, they done shipped him. They ship they ship him all around. See, he Reverend Goodhead ain't gonna stay in a place where he, he can't get get no more, can't give no more head. You know, that, that messes up his 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 name and reputation. He's Reverend Goodhead. Not Reverend Bedhead or Reverend I can't get no head. He's the good head man. You know, he got his reputation on the land. So when he done drunk to everybody in this, he'll put in for a transfer and go somewhere else and drink them. You know, he drank the prison up, man. Everybody talking Reverend Goodhead. Oh man, he preached a good sermon the day on his knees, right on the head of all that. And, uh, and that's how they talk, man. So I done seen all of this. So do you actually think that I can let somebody like T.D. Jakes <clears throat> or any of these other preachers out here fool me? You think I don't know what is gay and what ain't gay? You think I can't see the stands in people? I talked about T.D. Jakes before he even got busted. I was the first one to put it on the internet about it. Then everybody followed suit. I already knew. Then the other day he said, you know what? I feel like I've been swallowed. Swallowed. He said, but even if everything they said about me is true, you know what? I got a direct line to God. Well, all I got to do with a sincere heart is repent. Oh, and just go on. Now you can't make it right, man. You know, I know Reverend, it's a lot of Reverend Goodheads running around. P. Diddy's one. Uh, uh, he's, uh, well, he's not a Reverend, but, uh, it's a whole lot of them running around. You know, so yeah, I know Reverend Goodhead. But anyway, back to my people out there. You girls out there. I don't know what to say about you. You know. The young girls. Do you the think the young girl, the older girls, the any girls, the any women? Well, it seems like they're getting killed a little more now, being with these with some of these young guys. Do you do you think the uh, the girls, the young women, are s committing the crimes with the young men? Or do you think they're just being caught in and wrong place? At the they wrong got place? a Bible verse in the Bible, and I'm, I'm it's it's what I call a dark sentence. A dark sentence is a sentence, it's, it's in my creation, first of all. A dark sentence is a sentence that contains two meanings. It's like a two-edged sword cutting two ways. There's a verse in the Bible that says, Behold, 
the Lord has created a new thing in the earth, a woman to compass a man. See, that prophecy now came true. Compass, look it up in Hebrew and Greek, it means to surpass the man. Ladies is doing that already. That, that was prophesied on that the Lord has created this new thing in, in the in the in the earth, where a woman will compass a man. That's a Bible verse in Jeremiah. Now, I see that that come true because I remember the time when they couldn't vote. When ladies was told their job was in the house, men go out to work, this and that. That prophecy is open now. Ladies is taking all the jobs. They they moving up in all positions. They they even generals in the army. They running stuff. They doing stuff. And all the level of fighting, like we grow up as boys, they they surpassed up. You know, we we grow up. I little fist fights growing up with like a maybe a slap, uh, a one punch, go to the ground, break it up. They surpassed us. The, the, the little young girls growing up and they're fighting, man, they taking it to the ground. They balling their fists up. They throwing haymakers. And if you hit that ground, they're going to stop you unconscious. They fight hard. They fight harder than the boys did when I was growing up in my generation. So, yeah. Uh, what was your question? I was asking you uh, because it seemed like I'm hearing more of the young women actually getting killed. Uh, yeah, they doing the killing well, too. I, I don't know if, well, you two don't like us using that word. Un, un, unlive or un, un, whatever they call it. Unlive? Yeah. So, oh, okay. Do, so you do, do you think they commit more crimes or do you think they're with the guys and get caught in the wrong place at the wrong time? Right now, women <coughs> done turned the whole thing over. I mean, hands down, men, minute i will ladies unchanged the game the days when men were driving cars and they on the passenger side it's now women's driving the men's on the passenger side men's is now cleaning up doing dishes when ladies used to only do it ladies are turned turned everything over and yes they tougher men now men's get locked up I rely more on a woman keeping the mouth shut than a man. They're going to sneak you out. Hey, look. Can I make a deal? I mean, you know, that's how they are. So, women is more evil than men. They commit more crimes than men. I don't care what nobody say. I'm a fact. They surpass the men on all levels. They the breadwinners now. We got to ask them at the time women run up to us. Honey, can I get some money to go shopping? Uh, how much you need? Well, at least 300 Oh, shoot, girl. You keep on hitting me with that 300 I'm going to give you 150 See, we used to do them like that. So now we coming to them. Hey, baby. Y yes. Can I get a hundred dollars? Can you get a what? A hundred dollars. Boy, you made that up. What, 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 what kind of stuff you ate this morning? And so we going through it now. So ladies is in more chores now than men. Men are still fighting for whatever little control they had once. But the tables done changed, man. You know, I mean, I see it out there in society. I see ladies actually pimping. Men used to pimp women. Women's pimping men. Now. I mean, women is taking men's ladies from them. All kinds of stuff. So, yeah. And wow, L23, I know, uh, uh, is that who it was? He said, uh, it works with the same. Yeah, but you two don't like you using the one to start with the K. Right. I appreciate it, though. It start with the K. 
Yeah, K I L L. Oh, okay. They don't like you saying that. Okay, it's a donation from uh, Be Real. Be Real. Fleece my son with the prison for two years for robbing a drug dealer with a gun. Oh. Uh, just stay with your kid, man. What made a difference to me, my mama died while I was locked up, but she was the only person that sent me a birthday card, Christmas card. Uh, she's just her, man. I was left for dead in a winning as a child. I went through a whole lot of stuff, but I had to block my man from me. I got to survive, and I ain't got time worrying about nobody. All this feels sorry for me. Uh, can you please send me? I get it the way I can get it. And I'm on survive. And that's how I did it. Got a that one from Drew Django. He said, Hey, Uncle Fleece, is your nephew Drew Django? Is the don't drop the soap stereotype or is it a real thing? Have, Man, you, have you seen someone drop soap and lose their butt? Yeah, I have. I seen somebody fought. I, a lot of times, fought or get your butt took. People don't know it. When you fought, you know how people do it out here on the street trying to uh, get some laughs and stuff. <laughs> fought real loud, do it in prison. I'm telling you what they're going to say. They're going to say, soon you fought, they're gonna, somebody going to holler, oh, oh, speak to me, old toothless one. Y'all hear that? They're going to say, man, that was loose. That was loose. That's juicy. And that, well, whoever did that is juicy, and they're going to want you on that. So it, when I picked up on that, when I fought it one time by mistake, but I looked at somebody else like, damn, man, you know, you juicy like that? I threw it off for me, you know, and, and yeah, they, they was on him all day. Hey, man, and they start feeling his butt. One of them grabbed his butt over. He said, stop, stop. All that old stuff, that thing, you know, they getting bent over, and they they doing. So if you go, if you, if, yeah, fought. That's all you gotta do is fought it, huh? Fought, really, fought out in the open. You call yourself showing off and see what they say. So when you fought, they gonna say, uh, uh, uh. Y'all hear that? Ooh, we, ooh, boy, it spoke to me. Whoever did that, I want your number. Yeah, Ted, give me your cell number. I want to come see you, buddy. Ooh, that sound good. And they mean it. It ain't no they saying it for jokes. They mean it. They make you, man, I, I almost bust my belly one day trying to hold a 40. I said, man, it's trying to come out. I was holding it. I'm holding it. I'm not for man. Ain't nothing around you but people just in butt bandits. They, they come out every day looking for somebody that they see any sign of weakness in you. They come in. And I'm sitting there trying to hold this 40 in, man. I said, oh, God. And soon I get to come up, one of them little silly uh, 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 inmates that I played with did me like that and it came out. Boom. But you know what I did? I looked at him. I said, man, for real? You go, ooh, somebody say, oh, Felice, what do you do? Is that him up there? Who? Hey, Felice, no disrespect, but uh, I need to holler at him. They got in the fight. <laughs> no, that's what you get from running up on me, man. And uh, but uh, that's how they are in prison, man. I had it. You, you, you think prison, you thought that your son went to prison for two years. He may be in there now. I don't know. Well, you know, people that got two years, they go to them little south prison. They don't make to the maximum security. They go to the ones that, but all of them is bad, though. They all on it. After two, three years, everything looks good to you. You watch TV and, and, and your, your, uh, your, what do you call it? Test, test, test. Testosterone testosterone, whatever they call it, man, it'll get all haywire. After about three years, everybody, the fattest lady in the world, the ugliest lady in the world look like a queen to you. Everybody. You know, and if you a person that like butts, real nice, fine-looking butts, 
You wait till you see them white boys come in after they've been out there in the sun, uh, sun, sun, sun tanning. And take their clothes off and them big butts and stuff being all right with that, that suntan stuff. Uh, yeah. Sooner or later, your man gonna play tricks on you, bro. It, it does. You gonna say, man, you gonna start hating yourself, man. What is what is wrong with me? I can't believe that man's butt made me get hard. Yeah. And then somebody gonna sooner or later, you probably fight it another year or two. But then you're gonna start seeing them sisters walk around with them G strings on, pulling their panties up in their crack, and they got them big old luscious butts. And you say, you know what? You're gonna try to be slick about it. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just get some head. I ain't going all like that. Man, when they get done, they done done it all. Gave you got some head, gave you some head. Got some booty, gave you some booty. I did it all. And then come out here in the street. And uh, uh when they when they, when they uh uh girl say, Oh, guess who's out, girl? Tyrone just got out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fixing myself. I'm gonna go see him. And then when you go see him, he hugged you like this. And who's that donation for? This is from uh, Big AIS Ace. He said, how much butt have you given to others? Whew. Well, apparently not enough, because I still got some. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't going to laugh. I, I did it, too. And so, I mean, what? I'm not going to laugh about it. And, uh, that's the worst thing you do right now is laugh about it. People have more respect to people that is just straight up with their life. People don't people don't like it when you lie and they find things out on their own. You know, and you know, it's, it's like you don't you deceive me. You lie to me. Don't nobody care about your uh sexual preference. You know, I don't care about it either. You know. Pretty soon I'm gonna have enough money where I can have whatever I want, whoever I want. But you know what? I don't want nothing. I just wanna get me a little house, a little piece of land, and and just spend the rest of my life, man, just seeing if I can't help somebody not go to prison. That's it. That's all I want in life. I don't want nobody to go through what I went through. You know, I turned out the way that I turned out in there, but I'm lucky to come out the way I am now. Change, you know. Do you think somebody else could survive in there? No. Hell no. No way possible. Uh, I keep it all the way real. I made it through all that, and I'm still. Well, I know now because I got knowledge that God was with me. Uh, my survival was none of it done due to my intelligence. I ain't have no intelligence. I mean, what's so intelligent about spending 40 years in prison? That's dumb. I could have worked two jobs and retired in 40 years. Could have went through the Army, all that stuff. Could have had a real good name, you know, other than uh, Ed Conner. But, uh, like I said, through weakness, I became strong. Out of ignorance, I became wise. So, out of my failures, I became successful. So, <coughs> my motto now is learn who you are. And don't deny yourself being who you are. Are you, are you aware that uh, I think you might be the the first known booty warrior? Did you know it? Well, 
I don't like the term, but if that's what they call me, you know, it's just like what Jesus said in the Bible when they showed him a, a penny or something of Caesar. And they was like wondering, should we give uh, homage, props to this man? And Jesus told him, give props to who props is due to me, you know. And so I don't go through this life. Uh, I know how I went through my life. And I know the things I done done, right? So I don't expect nobody to, uh, I mean, hell, see me other than as you see me. You know, I mean, it's the way I present myself to you, right? Not based on what somebody said about me or of me. You know, and they laugh one time. I tell you about me. You know, and like but like I said, I don't I don't try to win your acceptance approval because your acceptance, approval, I respect, don't pay my bills, man. Don't put shoes on my feet, clothes on my back. So I don't see nothing valuable about even being spoken to. You know, what's that about that donation? Uh, we watch you from India. Yes, yeah, Nova Inspiration again. Uh, Fleece, we watch you from India, even though he just said the same thing, even though MSNBC misrepresented you and did you wrong, that God still used you to keep young people out of prison, including me. Okay, now I want to say this, right? Now my, my agent ain't going to like this. Let me tell you this. I know for a fact. Ladies in, in uh, other countries are totally different from the ladies here in America. They are, are totally different on how they treat their men and their husbands treat their wives. It's a whole totally different ball and I know it for a fact. And I also know this. I want y'all to know this, my opinion on something. Because somebody asked me, I got a lot of friends over here from uh, Israel, Palestine. I got a lot of friends over here. I got a lot of people I socialize with. And they asked me about that war over. And yeah, uh, I don't support a war, man. That's one thing I'm I'm not gonna support is a war that take lives. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do not support wives like that. They take innocent lives. Let's put it like that, innocent lives. I just don't. And so there's no way possible I'm gonna give a person the weapons that they need to do bodily harm to another person because it'll make me part of it. So that's why I don't understand why the United States is giving money to Israel to keep them up in arms when the arms that they keep them up in is being used to kill innocent civilians. I'm against it. So people ask me, who side do you take? I don't take nobody's side. You know, India shot 300 missiles over there either. I thought, you know what I thought India should have done? It is already through. This is what they call a good good president and a leader, good leader, bad leader. Here's what I would have did. A uh, shot of a uh, bomb killed seven people in our embassy over here. How should we? I said, first of all, we're going to get something out of this. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to change the game. First of all, we're going we're gonna to get compensation. You know, we're going to make sure they pay for all the damage they just caused. And that the, the families of, of, of the ones that they took their loved ones, 
They gonna be millionaires. We get done with 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 Israel. They gonna pay for the compensation, and then once I get all that and get the damage repaired and paid for by them, as you know, uh, a form of their apologies for what they done. Now, if they didn't do it. If, if if I couldn't do a surgical strike, I wouldn't I wouldn't put one in. You know what a surgical strike is. I mean you you miss you you gonna hit the target, you ain't gonna get no innocent civilians involved. Got one from Wild L twenty three. Do you think whooping kids keeps them out of prison? Man I got more whoopings. Man, let me tell you, I got some, didn't y'all not hear my story? I got so many whoopings that at 10 years old, I stood up in front of my parents, both of them, and told them, I ain't gonna cry no more. And they whooped me for hours, man, to try to make me cry. I stood up and took it. And I had whips all over my body. My mama's nose started bleeding. She dropped the strap. My daddy, he, his hands started shaking. He just bought his fist up and hit me in the forehead as I went to the hospital. I was 10. Get out of the hospital. I said, I'm ready for round two. You know what they told me? You don't get whoopings no more. But if whoopings would made make you uh, behave, man, I'd be a saint right now. They don't work. It don't work. It don't work. I see parents out here now, a grabby kid, and I'm talking about hit them hard in the back, slam them, chase them through the house, cuss them. Ain't nothing gonna keep you out of prison except your kid, man. Kid making the right decision, being able to stand up. Parents are not teaching their kids how to stand up against bullies and intimidators. People can intimidate you. You know, like one girl tell another girl, when you gonna get you a boyfriend? I'm not thinking about, you ain't thinking about nothing. What, what are you, a hermit? I don't know nothing about boys. You don't even know how to kiss a man? No, I never kissed one. She's already a lesbian. So she gonna teach this girl how to kiss, and they think you know she's between the legs. Got to turn her out. Now the boys, they can get intimidated, like you know the strongest one around them can intimidate the others. You know I don't play, man. I know I know you don't switch play. I know you don't, man. You know why they call me switch play? It ain't because of the, the switch blade knife. It's because I switch blades. Every time I cut something old, I switch blades. They call me switch blade. And you have people so scared that uh, he intimidate. He can walk up on anybody in his crew and palm their butt. They ain't going to say nothing. But come on, switch blade, don't, man. And they can intimidate him to go commit crime. You with me or not? Yeah, but I don't want no punks around me running home to your mama. You better not tell no. Come on, let's go rob this food. They're not teaching their kids to stand up against intimidators and bullies. They're not teaching their kids to be yourself. You don't have to be nothing nobody wants you to be. People going to want you to be all, called, all sorts of things. You got people that go to church, they walk down the street, and other kids will make fun of them. It's intimidation to try to make them stop going. You going to church? Oh, you punk. Tell Jesus, um, give me a joint. All that crazy stuff. Then sooner or later, he going to stop going to church and hang out with them and learn day ways which we know is going to take you to prison or put you in the graveyard. And these parents sit back and they watch his stuff and they don't do nothing about it. Is that your friend, Rocky? Yeah, how you doing, Miss Doris? Oh, I'm doing fine, honey. How's your mama? She's doing all right. You know how that bitch is. 
Boy, don't talk about your mama like that. Oh, you know it. Now, somebody that disrespectful come in my house, you get now and you ain't coming back. And I'm back not catching my son around you no more. Period. They letting their kids do whatever. Uh, they ain't teaching their kids how to read through things, right? They don't even hang out with their kids. They let kids hang out with kids. Kids raise kids. Bad kids are raising good kids to be bad. Take that out. The bad kids are teaching the more good to be bad. That's their job. Couple more questions. No, I'm going to answer. No, I'm saying. We can yeah, play. I take a couple more questions. And uh, somebody said, uh, I wish you uh, go on and donate and ask me a question. Uh, don't be ashamed. Don't don't be afraid to ask me a question. You know, I can answer a question. I used to cut it, but I didn't improve, right? And as y'all see, more and more, I'm doing less cussing. I'm doing good though. Yeah. And they end up in prison for 40 years, somebody said. Somebody said, You have a great day. Kids raise bad kids that end up in prison. Now, kids is worth taking the good kids and turn the bad. And that's how they end up in prison. I'm super bad. Yeah. Yeah, I got two more, two minutes left. And uh, I just want to say to y'all that uh, my advice, remember what Jesus said. That grab your page of Revelation, what Jesus said. Those that want to be filthy, let them be unholy. Let them be. I mean, Jesus said, it. just let him be that. There's nothing you can do at one point of time. You're going to have to draw back from the people that is doing wrong. And you're going to have to stand up and not be intimidated. I feel obligated. Be able to tell them. Away from me. Yeah. I love y'all.